So, as I said to the gaffer, a very hard-fought game. 2-1 win against Yeovil. What did you make of today's game? I thought we went behind against the runner play. I thought we were quite good first half. I thought we, we took on board what um, the gaffer's been saying all week in the meetings, implemented that, uh, and then obviously the red card helped, and we dominated possession, moved the ball really well, and had chances, and I think one all was definitely fair. Um, going into sort of half time and then it was kind of the message was more of the same but uh, yeah we made it hard for ourselves second half <laughs> to say the least but uh, look, so there's three points on the board I think we needed it after last week. What did the gaffer say at half time? I think he just said more of the same it was yeah, all, all the principles that we've been working on this season but then obviously you've got to use the man advantage and I think we needed to get our wing backs on the ball quicker move the ball stretch them because 10 men yeah, sometimes there's a bit of an ascendancy because I played with 10 men and you feel like you have to kind of work that extra yard but when the team does move the ball it is so difficult and that's, that was the message. It just At times we, we rushed, I think we panicked um, but look, once we got the goal, uh, Ashes pulled out some unbelievable saves as well. Um, that is, at the end of the day we'll come away with three points and we'll work on those things uh, no doubt next week. And your goal came from a wide area through the wing backs. Mendy's got it, passed it back to Frankie, who's put a great ball across the Kane, headed it back across. And what are you thinking? Just get anything on the ball? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Kano will uh, be having work. Well, he's had words with me already because uh, I think he's had a couple nicked off him this season. But look, uh, I know the quality we've got in wide areas and just sort of throughout the pitch that the, uh, the big emphasis on crosses this year, get the balls in the box. And uh, I know I, I've, my anticipation's good. And if I'm in the right areas, I'll get chances. And it came out unbelievable to get above uh, the defender and just nod it back into an area and I just like, literally just making sure I didn't want to take any risks so uh, yeah look not, not the best goal I'll ever score but an important one and the, bin, the midfield battle today was very tough you Frankie and Rico in there what was it like on the pitch yeah it was a tough game like, I mean, overall always a tough uh, outfit um, it's like in the last few seasons it's always they've always been quite narrow work really hard make the game difficult, uh, do like the ugly side of the game well and they've, look, they've got good players in there. I think first half, I think my role was kind of to drag them out a bit more, allow Frank and uh, Rico more time on the ball and we did it really well, we, we were switching the play. I think second half, just, yeah, we needed just a bit more composure but um, overall, uh, an enjoyable game, good atmosphere, real good atmosphere as well, like you, you felt that um, the crowd on both sides were getting behind their team, so uh, yeah, no, really happy. And Eastley next Saturday, 5.20 kickoff on BT Sport. What are your expectations for that one? Yeah, or again, always a good outfit uh, at this level. Uh, play some good football. I've re recruited well this season from what I've seen. Um, the t TV is the TV. Like, some, some people might put an emphasis on it. I think we just take every game as normal. Uh, be nice for, obviously, we started the season really well. And I suppose it's nice for us, uh, the manager and the club, to show where we are to a live audience. So, um, no, looking forward to it.